Today, Apple is carbon neutral for our global corporate operations. Our offices, stores, and data centers run on 100% renewable energy. And we're proud of how far we've come. But by 2030, we plan to have net zero climate impact across our entire business, including our manufacturing supply chain and all product life cycles. This means that every Apple device sold from material collection, component manufacturing, assembly, transport, customer use, charging, all the way through recycling and material recovery will be 100% carbon neutral. Many of iPhone 12's environmental features build on our past progress, removing harmful chemicals and using renewable and recyclable materials. And now, for the first time, we're using 100% recycled rare earth elements in all magnets, including the camera, haptics, and MagSafe. We've also been transitioning our iPhone manufacturing partners to renewable energy. And just like we did with Apple Watch, we looked for ways to cut waste and use less material. Customers already have over 700 million lightning headphones. And many customers have moved to a wireless experience with AirPods, Beats, or other wireless headphones. And there are also over 2 billion Apple power adapters out in the world. And that's not counting the billions of third-party adapters. So we are removing these items from the iPhone box which reduces carbon emissions and avoids the mining and use of precious materials. Removing these items also means a smaller, lighter iPhone box. We can fit up to 70% more products on a shipping pallet, reducing carbon emissions in our global logistics chain. Taken all together, the changes we've made for iPhone 12 cut over 2 million metric tons of carbon emissions annually. It's like removing 450,000 cars from the road per year. This is huge, and we're really proud that Apple is taking the lead. We hope others will follow, making this impact even bigger for our planet. Back to you, Cayenne.